Welcome back to another City Cooking Challenge. My name is Susana Serrano, and we are back in our studio with our live audience. Yay! As you guys already heard. Uh, today's recipe is a very simple one and also a very nutritious one. I'm going to be making vegan stuffed peppers. And everything you see here, or at least, you know what? There's probably like two items that are from our pantry, but everything else is from Hunger Action Day, which is great because we have a whole meal with everything we got. So to get started, let me turn on the heat. Otherwise, we can't start cooking. Um, but I did want to mention that Hunger Action Day, uh, the schedule is going to change next month due to our uh, week off. Instead of having the event happening the third week, the third Monday of the month, it's gonna change to the second Monday of the month. So again, it's gonna be the first Tuesday of the month and the second Monday of the month. So make sure to remember those dates. You can always go into the school's website and into our website at SECity at SECityTimes.com and the whole schedule is going to be there. So remember to check that out so you can see when the event is happening and you can go get your free groceries. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I actually wanted to talk about that because Thanksgiving is coming up and usually for Hunger Action Day, it's every pretty much everything you need. Sometimes they do pass out the turkeys. Last year they didn't, but they gave out everything else, um, like the stuffing, the cornbread, I mean just everything, all the mixes that you need, which was great. And also we do have a video with several different re recipes that I created with everything I got last semester. So if you wanna check that out, again, you can go to our website and check that out. I'm gonna start off with some oil in our, um, in our pan. We're gonna saute our vegetables. We're gonna be stuffing it with, um, we're gonna be stuffing our pepper with uh, onions cauliflower, some garlic, and we got a uh, chili, like this is vegetarian chili. And uh, it has a lot of veggies in there and beans, and it's so good. And then we're gonna top it off with uh, some Chex Mix. But you can always top it off with whatever you want. If you have breadcrumbs, if you have um, cheese, right? It's not vegan anymore. That, yeah, that wouldn't make it vegan, it's but totally <laughs> yes, cheese would probably make it so good. We don't have cheese with us, so we're gonna just use whatever we have. Um, so we're gonna let the oil heat up a little bit before we put it in there, but just to test it out. It's not hot yet. <laughs> we're just gonna leave it there. Once it starts bubbling a little bit, then you'll see that um, the oil is ready. Also, it's so exciting because we have a cameraman with us. Yes. Um, and he's gonna be showing you some close-ups of what I'm making. That way I don't have to be tilting everything and hopefully spilling everything <laughs> all over the counter. Um, so, Sonny, can you give us an idea of the ingredients that you're gonna use? Yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna be using some cauliflower. This is going to be, um, I don't know if you wanna get a close-up of what I have here, but. Welcome Joel into the shot. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using cauliflower and instead, you know, this is vegan, but it's also keto friendly. If you don't, if you're watching your carbs and you don't wanna use rice or pasta to do the filling, you can always use some sort of vegetable. This you is, chopped it up, right? I did, I chopped it up. You can chop your veggies up or you can grate it. I think grating is a lot easier. Um, but you know, I just had a knife and I went for it. So the oil is already heating up um, and the onion is kind of bubbling over here. So I'm just gonna pour my onions in there. Ooh. Sounds like a great Joel shot. Yeah, <laughs> Joel, do you wanna check this out? Let me grab us. Joel's gonna be hanging out with me a lot today. Um, hey there, Joel, don't be afraid of Yeah, her. don't be afraid. <laughs> 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 Spoken like the people at a distance. Yeah, Joel. What are you studying? What's your major? I'm studying journalism and RTBL. What's RTBL? Radio, television, and film. Fancy. What oh, is your major. career goal? I don't know. No, I'm just filling stuff out right now. Nice. Let's see where that goes. That's your plan is to transfer, huh? Yeah. Where are you going? I also don't know. Oh. <laughs> where are you what, flying? Yeah, what schools are you looking into? Um, Basically, all throughout the state. Yeah, get get in. You can take a step yeah. forward. Yeah. <laughs> so 
Some people are afraid of me. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now, I'm just going to let the onions caramel caramelize a little bit um, or just get translucent. And that's how you know they are softening up. I'm also going to add the cauliflower now to that. Um, I put some florets here for decoration, but I'm just going to use the chopped up ones. Um, I might not use all of it just because our pepper isn't that big, but you know what I am. I'm going to use all of it. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Remember to always. Add salt to your layers. Not a lot, but you always want to make sure that your food isn't bland. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. And again, I'm going to let that cook down a bit. And before I cover it up, because I will be covering this up, I'm going to add my garlic. And you don't want to add your garlic right away because it can burn. And if it burns, it'll, it will make your food very bitter. So make sure to add your garlic on the top of whatever you're going to be using it. Me. The audience can smell so good here right now. You like oh it? God. It's the it's onions. Really very strong. Yeah. She's going to keep on mixing it for a little bit longer. Luckily, TV magic, we have the mixture ready and cooked to be able to stuff the pepper. But just going to let that cook a little bit longer. I'm going to cover it the lid here. The budget only provided for a small lid, so we're going to put it in the middle. Um, we don't have one for the size of our small lid. <laughs> 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 we we yes, if you guys want to sponsor us, we would welcome that greatly and happily and we can buy lids that fit our pan. <laughs> if you want to send us money, my Venmo. Is <laughs> okay. But yes, City Times does happily accept donations. City Times Media as a whole, the digital journalism, we'd be happy to help out. Can we have a Venmo for City Times? Um, we'll work on it. We'll work on it, yeah. It's a working process. But, you know, reach out. Our website is there. Um, so while that's cooking, I will show you that I did cook some before wow. we started so I have it ready here and, and this is what I mean by translucent like you want to get closer so I can show them <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if you can see how like the onions look like transparent that's what it, translucent means <laughs> but um, you can see how it's cooked and there's a little bit of color to it um, it's not so white anymore there's it's kind of yellow it's cooked we yeah. get translucent yeah, we get <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. Um, and you know, I'm gonna invite uh, Jillian. Jillian, and I come in. You can help me um, fill up the pepper. You know what? Let me. Okay. I'm get. We're gonna use this bowl. So you can layer it for me. Have fun with it. She had no idea she was going to be doing this. I had no idea. No, I'm a little scared. <laughs> By the way, she is our executive producer for New Scene. Woo! Yay! If you guys don't know what New Scene is, it's our TV program, our TV show, our newscast. You, you can tell them what it is. Yeah, so it's our newscast. Uh, we do shows every Wednesday. Uh, Susana actually used to be in New Scene. You yeah. might recognize her, her face. But yeah, also a very exciting thing. Um, the San Diego Press Club Awards are coming up, and that is a big thing for journalism and our, I think it's our digital media team, our TV team, and our uh, magazine team are all winners. Yeah. So it's a big deal. And we have a couple student winners, like individually. Um, we have Jacob, who you might know. He's a voice of San Diego reporter now. He did news scene and all the same times media. Um, Philip, he's now at USC. Uh, uh, I think graduate school. Yeah. Go, yeah. go, Philip. Gabe is also now at the Voice of San Diego. He's an intern. Congrats. I know this is really recent news. And he's the editor in chief for SESU, yes. right? Yeah. Kill, they're all killing the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Vicky, she's in Dominguez Hills. Dominguez Hills. Yes. Studying. She's also part of the journalism program over there. So yes. Fun. And then we have Katya, who's studying, uh, I think, her graduate degree graduate at University yeah. yeah, University of Maryland, yeah. grade school. And then we have. Turtle. Susanna's also a winner. 
Yes. Yay! I Yay. know. We're excited. We know Susanna. Yeah, we all know Susanna. Okay, okay. so now we're going to set up our pepper. Uh, we're okay. going to do it in layers just like lasagna. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to hand this to you. This is our mix that we were cooking. Um, just okay. add a, a small layer into it. Just put a little bit. Yeah, just cover the bottom of, of the pepper. Okay. Don't be scared. Go for it. I've never done this on camera. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, okay, Keep I need. Going. I really need to go faster. Keep going. No, it's fine. <laughs> you're doing. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> you know what I'm. You know what I'm. Thanks. What mom. my reference is that I'm yes. a cool mom. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a I'm cool, a cool mom. mom. Okay, I think that, that looks pretty good. Okay, so yes. this is our pepper, you know, our first nice. layer. Joel. Ooh, Joel, thank you. Now we're going to add our chili. <laughs> we're going to add our chili. Um, it's beans and veggies. And uh, I don't know, it looks like some sort of broth in here. It's, it smells really good. And again, we got all of this from Hunger Action Day, so thank you. They had a San lot Diego of stuff City today. College. Yes. Thank you, donors. Yeah, thank yes. you so much. Okay. You can add some more of our mixture in there. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to keep on checking this side because I don't want it to burn. How so much? Sonic, can you tell us a little bit about why, why Hunger Action? What is Hunger Action Day and why do we care? So yeah. Hunger Action Day is an event that happens twice a month, as I mentioned before. Um, we we like to do this and cook for you so you can see all the cool things, all the cool recipes that you can make with everything that is donated. It's totally fine to go and get extra help if you need it. Please don't shy away from the extra assistance that the school provides for you. Remember, um, students, staff, and even people around our community can come and get some free groceries and you can let people you know. Um, you know, tell them about the program. Uh, Check out the dates and uh, let them save some money. Well, grocery prices right now are way out of control. And it's exactly. nice to have a couple ingredients that you come, you pick up in your car, and you can go home and just add it to what you have and really have the grocery bill kind of go a little bit wider without having to pick up some of these items that you can just get from donations here. And by the way, you can check out um, our unboxing, uh, our haul on our Instagram at SD City Times, and you can see everything we got today. It's like Christmas; like you have no idea what's gonna be in there every week. Yeah, it's really fun to do the yeah. see what's inside. There was so much today. I mean, this is just a little bit of yeah. what we got, but there was so much vegetables, fruits, yeah. vitamin waters, There's stuff for snacks, like stuff for breakfast food. There was milk. a variety. Milk. 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 Lots of pasta. Pasta, Pasta, oatmeal, mandarin mm -hmm. oranges. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Okay. So students, there's fun. no reason for you all to be hungry, you know, and young families, anyone mm -hmm. in the area, exactly. check it out and come and sign up because, uh, you know, if, if we don't if we don't distribute that food, it's just going to go to waste. Yeah. And that's what we don't want. Come get free food. It's so good. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask Joel to check out our stuffed pepper. Yay, this Joel. is what it looks so this is what it looks like. Uh, on the top of it, we're just gonna sprinkle some rice Chex mix. We were snacking on this. Yeah, we were <laughs> earlier. I wasn't gonna say anything, I but like, you have some left. Yeah, <laughs> like we were really going in. Yeah, it's a great snack. Yeah, like, we have those. All the cool college kids are eating Chex. Yeah. Yeah. Them yeah. I mean, you can have And this is gluten free if you have some sort of allergy. Yeah. AKA Nicole Marcus. It's our on trend. Exactly. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the, um, this. Air fryer. The air fryer. <laughs> air fryer. Yeah. Here, want me to... Uh, it's fine. It's mind okay. the way. Okay. okay. The air, sorry, it's our first, well, it's my first time using it. Um, this is a really cool gadget. I'm super old school. I would have put it in an oven, but we don't have one, and we're trying to not burn the school down. Uh, it, I'm going to set it up for uh, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm gonna do 15 15 to 20 is kind of what we came around when we were making this um, and we're just gonna be checking on it just to see how the peppers looking and like if things aren't burning so they don't have a window okay. in the air fryer so you may want to yeah, just don't. double check it every yeah. what like maybe 10 minutes and then again every yeah five. every 10 and every five and then uh, and then it should be ready but while we wait and that's cooking let me show you what we got because we did make one before all of this and we're gonna be able to taste it on camera oh so this is how it looks in there, our stuffed pepper yes. 
Oh my gosh, uh, it's so cute. pretty. It is pretty. It looks gorgeous. I'm really proud of this. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry now. This is your <laughs> I think we're all super hungry. <laughs> we're all super hungry. We've all been here like all day. <laughs> this is my lunch for the day. I'm gonna cut up the food for my child. Thank you, mother. You're, You're doing great, honey. <laughs> Uh, little bigger. piece. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cut a medium size and then make it smaller from there. Okay. Because I'm sharing. Is with it you. better to eat it with a spoon or a knife? I mean, I, like you I mean, maybe not a knife. <laughs> I mean, I a meant fork. <laughs> <laughs> I I got it mixed up. I yeah. meant a fork you, or a you spoon. You probably could just like if you weren't sharing, <laughs> okay. like pick it up and eat it. I mean, the pepper is like the plate, like, kind of, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could. Like Might a be a little messy. You want to go for it? <laughs> Just, <laughs> it sounds like our professor wants to try something on camera. Do you want to try? No, thank you. Sure? Okay. Um, I didn't put any of the veggies on it, so okay. I don't know. How do you, I? You want to bite? Take this bite right here. Sure. The perfect bite with everything on it. Oh my gosh. I'm good. There, Joel. Oh, I like it. You like it? Okay. She's on surprise. <laughs> Okay, I want to try it. Wait, this is just a pepper. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very healthy. <laughs> it's hel it, it tastes healthy, but it's still good. Right. You know, I like the ingredients. It's healthy because the ingredients are healthy, but if people wanted to add other stuff to it, they could definitely add oh, you know, yeah. like salsa or whatever, right? Be as creative cheese. as you want to be. I think cheese would be so good. It would be so good with cheese. If you want to make like a breakfast stuffed pepper with like maybe eggs and cheese yeah. and I don't know tomatoes I was just mentioning it mentioning how um, adding some tomatoes maybe to this mixture would have even made this a lot better yeah, because of I the agree. beans and it would be good adding maybe like a paprika to it or some sort of spice it. yeah it's so good the beans are so good I know I don't think it yes fresh okay. herbs I can't pick it up <laughs> yes that would be delicious. I can't pick it up. You want me to cut some more for you? Yeah, I'm I trying. got you. <laughs> want me to use your fork? Yeah. Anyone else want to try it? Okay, I think we're taking. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna probably finish this, but I think we're gonna wrap it up for the day. Yeah. Where can we see yeah. this? Can we see this? Well, you can find us in our YouTube channel at SD City Times and also on our website at sdcitytimes.com. Yeah, we'll be loud because I can't hear with that air fryer. <laughs> SC <laughs> City, like TV magic, SC City Times.com. We'll see you later. Thank Bye. you.